Alright, so I just got, well not just, just recently, uh, got my ball screw set up here on the Z. Uh, had to do a little bit of work to get all of that going. Let me just give you a quick look at it. Uh, I wanted to keep it as standard as possible, uh, just to see if I could. But uh, I'm at the point right now where I'm going to have to change some stuff. Uh, let's see, right now I can do about 350, maybe 400 inches a minute. But I don't have anywhere near enough travel to even get up there. So I'm going to gear it down, make a whole new setup up there. Gear it down so I'll get uh, more resolution and more torque uh, at the low end so that I can get up to a decent speed which uh, probably will end up around 200 inches a minute and I've only done the Z because uh, it's going to be uh, probably the easiest for me to complete and actually test uh, and still be able to use my system. Uh, the X and Y will be next, uh, but you know, I'm just going to take it one step at a time instead of trying to do everything at once. Uh, so here's a little test that I'm going to run here, which basically is just simple, a little G-code, to uh, step the Z up to 1.5 inches then go to 2 inches, uh, 2.5, and then back down to zero. Uh, just do that to test where I'm ending up here with my indicator and where I'm ending up with on mock. So I'm starting at zero on the Z. Mock, starting at zero my indicator which uh, seems to be going from zero to half a thou so it's not very accurate but then again my mill isn't so accurate if I can push down on it easily and get an extra thou so whatever I'm not making parts for the space shuttle uh, so that's good enough for me for now anyway so let me just uh, fire up this G code across my fingers uh, I believe we're gonna do really something like it's only gonna get up to maybe 100 or 150 inches a minute I'll have to check that out later in slow motion. I don't know if the indicator is fast enough to even display where it's at. But let me get my let me get my Z-Bot shuttle here. And I will advance at what did I have this set at? Five tenths. So Again, this indicator only shows half a thousand, so if Mach is at seven tenths, this thing may say half, or it may bounce back and forth from half to one thousandths. So right now I'm getting a half. I'm gonna go up another half. There we go. Another half you can already tell my indicators off a bit. It's 
3, over here, I'm at 3, 9. So I don't know what's off. Uh, it could be the resolution. Uh, with the way I have the screw set up. That I'll have to look at uh, later. Uh, but I'm pretty happy with where I'm at right now. I'd really just like to get it all together so I can get back to work. Uh, so look, we're at 18 here. 18.6 there. It could just be my uh, calculations too for the uh, steps per inch. It could be off. 66, 66, 2. And back and forth. 89, 7. Because of that 7, my indicator is bouncing back and forth. So, just keep going and stop. No whammies. 127, half. 129, that's a whammy. So somewhere in there, she's a bit off. But again, it could be my calculations. I don't have everything set up super properly yet. Uh, this indicator is kind of hacked into a call it. So it could be a number of different things. Let's just keep going. Seven five, two o six five, two o seven, bouncing back and forth, and that indicator is just changing with uh, based off of my breath hitting it. So it's good for now. Got an updater, and maybe get some video then. Uh, right. Thanks for watching.